a very good evening and welcome to yet another video uh, in this particular video we are trying to prove that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees I think most of us has done this in the school days but it could be a night yes at yet another refreshing video to watch on so in order to prove that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle what I will do is that let me draw over a triangle over here okay uh, this is the triangle and let us uh, quickly name them the angles uh, let us do it in this way we, we uh, name the sides like A, B and C this is A, this is B and this is C right and we name these angles this part as x we name this one as y and this angle as z now our our target is to prove that x plus y plus z will be 180 degrees now in order to do that what we need to do is that we need to find out that how could the angles of the internal angles of this triangle will be 180 degrees so first of all let us construct a line uh, which is parallel to this line AC so I construct a line over here uh, which is parallel to AC and let me name this line as D D B and E right so let us name it as D E so this is a line which is uh, in parallel to this line AC and as we know, uh, which we have learnt in the earlier videos, uh, say for example, uh, I will just show you another thing which we have learnt earlier that if these are two parallel lines and this is a transverse which is cutting through this line, then we know that the alternate interior angles of uh, if the, these two are parallel and this is a, a transverse, then the alternate interior angles are congruent to each other that means if I see for example this angle and I name it as S and if I take this angle and name it as T then angle S would be congruent to angle T and if this also it follows that if these two angles are congruent to each other then the line is also parallel isn't it so this is one which we have learned with the transverse traveling through a parallel line so uh, in order to do that what we will do quickly over here is that we will take this part DBA so this is an in uh, this is the uh, uh, this is another uh, uh, interior angle which is forming so we can definitely write that angle DBA or I will be precise because there's a difference between equality and Congress so I will write the measurement of angle DBA the measurement of angle DBA equals to the measurement of angle X okay so this one would be equal to this one so I can write it as measurement of angle X also it follows that angle EBC E B and C this one would be equal to this one this angle this these are again two uh, alternate interior angles so I will write the measurement of angle EBC EBC would be equal to angle Z which is this angle uh, and note that angles are congruent if they have the same measures so if we get the measurement of angle DBA let me just put another color so that it becomes easier for you to understand let me put, put this blue color this one so if the measurement of angle DBA we have set it will be e equal to this angle X and the measurement of angle EBC this one I will put a thick color would be equal to this angle Z this part so from what it follows here that the measurement of the straight angle which is this angle angle DBE we have learned earlier that uh, if a line is straight right and this angle which is being formed this is 180 degrees for the straight angle so note from this figure that the measurement of the angle DBA um, uh, yeah DBE I'm so sorry DBE this one this entire angle right this is a straight line so obviously it would be 180 degrees 
So assuming that DBE is a straight line, DBE is this line, right? And the angles that are forming for DBE, let me write it, uh, three angles are forming. So angle DBE is equal to angle DBA. Let me uh, show it for you. This one DBA plus ABC, AB and C as well as angle CB and E, CB and E. So angle DBA equals to angle DBE equals to angle DBA plus angle ABC plus angle CBE. Right? These are the three angles which are forming. <coughs> And as we know that DBE is 180 degrees, so angle DBA which is X, you can see it from this figure. Angle DBA, this one, this part, this X, we call it as X. This one equals to this one, angle ABC, ABC and angle CBE, CBE. So this one is also Z which equals to Z. So what we find from this figure is that this part DBA equals to X plus angle ABC, ABC is the Y part, <coughs> so this is Y and CBE we find it from here, CBE is Z, so obviously alternate angle of CBE would be Z and this is exactly what we tried to prove, this is equal to 180 degrees. <coughs> so from this figure it follows that this angle what was our proof? What was our target? The sum of the interior angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. So we have proved that this angle plus this angle plus this angle which actually forms the straight line x plus y plus z equals to 180 degrees and we have shown from this that this and this and this equals to 180 degrees. So this is one proof which I have shown you that how the the sum of the interior angles of a triangle and how you can prove it. We are coming to yet another proof. Uh, I hope this would be also be something uh, quite interesting and I think we have also uh, find it in our uh, school days that if an angle is a triangle, uh, is an isosceles triangle, then the base angles will be congruent to each other. So let me draw quickly a uh, isosceles triangle so uh, the isosceles triangle as we see from this particular part so let me just draw it over here how an isosceles triangle would look like it would be more or less like this so this is an isosceles triangle let let us name those angles uh, the base as a b and c so i put it as a and then you put it as B and then put it as Z, C, right? Now before we go ahead uh, with knowing uh, how to prove the, uh, the this part that these angles uh, would be congruent, we will just look over with a, 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 a small concept which we called, we already know that CPTC, okay? It is called CPTC. CPTC means con corresponding parts of congruent triangles corresponding parts of congruent triangles. This is what is called CPTC. Just to give you a basic idea, uh, let me draw two triangles. I won't make them long because this is just a basic concept that I'm trying to pull over. So let us name it as A, B and C and let us name this as D, E and F. Okay. Now what happens is that if this part this angle A for example uh, is equal to this part is equal to uh, first let us see that the, the parts the segments and uh, this AC AC is congruent to DF also BC is congruent to EF then what follows and AB obviously AB would be uh, congruent to DE so AB is congruent to DE let me put it in another color for convenience then what happens is that this angle angle A is congruent to angle D so angle A is congruent to angle D 
angle B is congruent to angle E this one and this one angle C is congruent to angle F this and this so we'll put it as angle C is congruent to angle F and uh, yeah so these are the three angles which are being formed right so this is what it follows that if the congruent parts the corresponding parts of the congruent triangle right so it follows but if there is a difference in uh, in, in the amount of size etc then this uh, particular theorem won't hold so in one word what we can tell is that if the triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts are also congruent so I can just put it as if triangles are congruent right just a sign then the corresponding I put it in short corresponding parts are also congruent so this is the CPTC which follows now let us look back into the proof which we are trying to do over there that the base angles how it would be uh, the base angles are congruent so uh, from this figure what we will do is that we will make an altitude okay let us drop a perpendicular from here so we drop a perpendicular from here and we name this as E right we name this as E what follows you can understand that this forms a right angle triangle and these two are 90 degrees right so by definition we can write as it is an isosceles triangle so by definition we can write definitely that AB is congruent to BC right because that is the basic definition of a isosceles triangle this side would be equal to this side right now the measurement of angle AEB this one the measurement of angle AEB is equal to 90 degrees obviously and the measurement of angle CEB measurement of angle CEB equals to 90 degrees obviously it's quite, it's quite clear like you don't have to do this is a right angle triangle now from the reflex property we see that uh, this and this part which is the which is which is the perpendicular which is the joining BE is also uh, a congruent to BE right so we can write it as BE is also congruent to BE or we can tell it as EB so whatever BE or EB let me write it in bracket now if you are wondering what actually is a uh, reflexive or reflex property and just let me give you a quick overview uh, of this what is a reflex property say for example so we write it as reflex reflex property so this is something like uh, I think it's time to change my pen because yeah so <clears throat> we draw a parallelogram say for example this one this is a parallelogram right and we name this as a b c d so we name it as a a b c d right now what it follows from here is that and if we cut this part this 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 one this this if we join this right so what it follows from here is that if a b a b is congruent to CD right and if AD this one sorry AC is congruent to uh, this one BD this is congruent then obviously from the reflex property then this BD uh, CB which is this which is the which is the cutting one this segment CB is also uh, congruent to BC this is the theorem so we don't need to worry we already got to it so this is what is called reflex property I just thought to show you so let's come back to what we were dealing so if uh, if BE and EB from the reflex property they are equal then what it follows from here is that we have two right angle triangle right and they have the same hypotenuse 
you can see this we have two right angle triangles this one and this one and they have the same hypotenuse so obviously if they're sharing the same hypotenuse and from the hypotenuse theorem it follows that angle AEB I'm so sorry the triangle the tri we can write it as a triangle AEB this one is congruent to angle C triangle CEB because they share a common uh, common hypotenuse the leg so this triangle AEB is congruent to triangle CEB and BAE this one this this part is congruent to BCE this one because the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles uh, congru corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent we have just th seen that right from here CPTC so from here obviously it follows that angle BAE angle BAE is congruent to angle CEB BCE I'm so sorry BAE is uh, is uh, congruent to angle BCE and that was our target so remember one thing that the corresponding parts of congruent triangle tells that when two triangles are congruent these two triangles let me shade it this one and this one these two triangles are congruent they will have exactly the same sides and the same three angles so if the triangles are congruent the corresponding parts are congruent so just to summarize what we have shown from here is that we have dropped a perpendicular right and obviously from the definition AB and BC are congruent so the measurement of these two triangle of these two angles AEB and CEB are 90 degrees from the uh, th theorem of reflex property we have seen that this BE uh, this one this this BE and EB are the uh, same are congruent triangle AEB and CEB these two triangles are congruent and hence the uh, angles because it follows from the CPTC that if the triangles are congruent the corresponding parts are congruent these are the two corresponding angles BAE and BCE uh, these two triangles are also congruent to each other so that is exactly what we are looking the base angles of an isosceles triangles they are congruent just mind it what is CPTC I have just shown it here and what is reflex property you can follow it from this triangle from this parallelogram so that is how we prove that the base angles of uh, isosceles given that it is an isosceles triangle they are congruent so that brings to the end of this video so there were two uh, proofs in this the first one and the second one the first one was the uh, base angles the interior of the triangles are 180 degrees and this one is the isosceles triangle proof I hope you liked it thank you very much Stay safe and stay happy. Bye.